Hi there, Aaron again here. Um, this is a tutorial that is, is focused on an assignment for my class where we use these old images from this uh, Resident Evil uh, poster contest. Anyway, um, this is primarily about layer styles, so I'm just going to uh, jump right in. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to click on the, the Move tool. And this little black box here, I'm going to use change the blending mode on this. Um, as you can, you know, the blending modes, you go up and down and it changes. Uh, the black gets rid of, you know, or the, the multiply. This area tends to get rid of black. This one tends to get rid of grays. And this area tends to get rid of the white. I mean, the black gets rid of black, bottom gray, and top it gets rid of the white. So it sort of blends in nicely, kind of removes the black in a quick, easy way. Okay, so um, I want to apply a layer style. This little bitty icon down here, the little FX panel, is my layer style. Actually, I'm going to turn off that adjustment layer because I don't need that right now. Okay, so I'm going to, um, as you can see, I, I've labeled all my layers. It just helps just knowing where you're going. So I want to apply a layer style to, I'm going to click on the Alice layer, and and it's off the screen here but it says blending options and it says drop shadow uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna apply this to to Carlos here then and reason I can click on these uh, the things here is this thing says auto select so I can automatically select rather than having to select each layers if that's off if I click like I click different things you can see the layer doesn't change so I'm gonna put on auto select okay so now I'm gonna click on Carlos and I'm gonna add a Oh, still down at the bottom. Uh, okay, so um, well, hang on. I'll just move this up a little bit. I'm going to hit uh, blending options. I'm going to put a outer glow on him. Okay. Um, and I think a nice little glow. I'm going to add increase the size of that. And I can increase the spread, but the spread just sort of makes it flatten the ugly. So... You know, there are times when that might be good, but for right now, I don't want the spread. I want it to be have a nice, soft, feathered edge. And I kind of want to give that a blue glow, so I'm going to cl double-click on this color chip here, and I'm going to make that kind of blue and hit OK. And now, see, he has a bluish glow here. And you, I can change the blending mode from here. The default, depending on what you pick, is, you know, it's it starts out as... Uh, you know whatever the default is here and I'm just gonna hit okay I'm gonna extend this back down now okay so um from here I have applied this glow to him and you can see right here it says the effects and it has glow outer glow I can turn that eye on and off bring it back um I want to apply this same glow to her to out to the Alice layer so I'm just gonna I can just switch it I can just click you can see if I drag this it I get that little FX icon and I'm just gonna drag it down to the Alice layer and boom the glow switches from her from him to her so I've essentially stolen his I've stolen his glow <laughs> okay but I want to copy that glow so what I'm gonna do see if I click this isn't gonna work I got the FX panel it's just gonna swap it and I hit the hit some of the I hit the alt key the option key and nothing happens so I'm just gonna leave it here so I'm gonna hit the option key right now and when I click on it while I'm holding it you see I got those two little double arrows the black arrow on top of the white arrow and that means it's gonna copy I let go boom now I have a glow on both of these okay so I'm gonna move over to the Jill layer I want to add give her an outer glow and an inner glow so I'm gonna go over here to the little the um FX panel FX icon here and I'm going to scroll down again you can't see it I'm gonna give her an outer glow okay and I'm gonna move that over here and I'm gonna increase the size her I'm gonna give her a red glow I'm gonna just I don't think it looks good <laughs> well maybe I'll make it orange I don't think it really looks good but just to do something different okay so she's gonna have an orange outer glow and I want to give her an inner glow all right, now you see I checked on inner glow, but I'm still stuck with these with the outer glow uh, panel, the the you know the the little panel here. So in order to change that and make adjustments to the inner glow, I need to click on that here. And now you see it switched. It says inner glow. So you know I can click on all these different things here, but I'm just going to turn that off. 
and go back to inner glow. Okay, so the inner glow, I'm going to, maybe I'll make that purple. Again, I don't think this looks good, but hey, well, who knows? I might get lucky. It might look good. Okay, and then I can increase the size of that. Okay. And the, the choke does the same thing as the other one where it has the spread, but only it's going on the inside, and you see it just flattens everything out. Um, I can add, the, change the opacity. I can make it really heavy, but the default is here in this one. The default is set on screen. <clears throat> so I'm going to increase that. I'm going to hit OK. Um, here, I want to, uh, I want to add that to this guy here, Peyton. So I'm just going to click on the effects. Whoops, I forgot that I'm going to let go because I forgot to hit the option panel first. And I'm going to click. <laughs> no, actually what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to right click. And I am going to... Okay, I'm going to go up to here. There's this panel here, Layer Styles. If you're not seeing that, you can just go to Essentials, and you should get this in your, you know, in the panel. So if I'm just going to scroll down here, Essentials, and if Essentials have been changed, I'll just hit Reset Essentials. Okay, so this is what I get. So I'm going to close that layer again so I can see all of my, I'm going to close that adjustment panel so I can see all the layers, and I'm going to click on Styles. Now I'm going to click on this little icon here, and it's off the screen. It says New Style. All right, and because I'm selected, you can see it's relating to this style right here. You can see there's a purple inner glow and there's that yellow outer glow. So I'm going, and you can change, it says include blending options. I'm going to click OK on that. And I'm just going to name this uh, Jill Glow. OK, hit OK. And you can see it appeared up here in the layer styles. And now I can just take this over to Peyton, boom, drag it on, and he has a uh, nice purple glow. I'm um, not crazy about that purple glow on Peyton. Uh, so I'm just going to drop it, click down to inner glow, and I'm just going to drop that size down just a little bit. I'm going to leave it on there. But you can see you can make adjustments to these. Um, okay, Resident Evil. I'm going to click on this one. It just says title. And, you know, if you're, you're not sure if you're on the, right level, on the right layer, you can always just toggle the eye on and off and you go, yeah, I'm on the right layer. Okay, so from here, I want to add a drop shadow. So I'm going to click on, on my blending, on my FX panel, the blending options. And I'm, well, I can just go here, blending options, that's the top one. And I can just add the drop shadow here. Okay, so now there is a drop shadow added, you just can't see it. Um, one thing is... Hang on, I need to cause see the problem is I'm selected here. Now when I click on that, now I get my drop shadow um, <coughs> options. And you can see I can adjust the angle of this drop shadow. And you see it moved. Or and I can adjust the size and different things like that. But it, when just adjusting the angle, I've, it's much easier just to move out here and just grab it. You know, because if you, if you watch the angle and the distance... Those are things you can adjust manually, but you can see it's moving, and I can just adjust that quite easily right here. I'm going to soften that up, but I mean, if you're tweaking it and you just want to get a little bit, it's it's quite easy to make those adjustments, you know, here. But for just quick general adjustments, it's easy just to move out there and grab it. I'm going to increase the size a little bit, soften it up, okay, and I'm going to just hit okay. So okay, so that has a the the panel. I mean, uh, a nice layer style. The final thing I'm going to do is up here in layer styles. These layer styles is, these are already presets. Like, I made this Jill style. I can drop that on the name, and you see it gets the purple inner glow, and it has that yellow outer glow. But all of these styles are different things that are already in set up in Photoshop. I mean, yeah, so you can just drag them on. And it changes, you know, whatever you put it on. It's really nice for, for making changes to text. Okay, let's see. I'm going to just drop this on Alice, see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. Um, but another thing that you can do is, let's see, is let me click on, scroll down, title, effect. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's something. Actually, let me see if I can. Scroll. No, okay, it's not going to let me do that. Okay, all the way down at the bottom, there's a, a little option down here that says Scale Effects. And because often if you see their effects in this panel 
And sometimes they were made for something larger or something smaller. But if you put it on something that doesn't quite right, quite look right, it's always good to just play around with the scale because you might find that it just was out of scale, and maybe um, it, it does is doing something a lot nicer than what you initially, you know, thought it was going to do. So if it looks like it's close, play with the the scale. And for some reason. It's not. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. I mean, hit cancel. I, I admit to be on the name layer. Okay, so I'm going to right click here, go all the way down to the very bottom. It says scale effects, and I get this panel. Okay, so now when I do this with the text, I'll click here, and you see, it it just does a lot of funky things. And there we go. Okay, that's, I think, what it's supposed to be doing. Although I kind of kind of like this, what it's doing. You know, it j you just get a lot of different effects. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. And and then again, if you you know try out, there's a lot, there's a ton of these things you can to to try out. Okay, and I forgot, I just had to add this in. I meant to add on this Resident Evil layer, the title layer. I'm gonna double click. I wanted to add a stroke to this, so I'm just gonna double click on that. And down here where it says stroke, I you can see I put a nice little outline around there. I mean, I think it looks better without. That's why I forgot actually, but I just wanted to show. You know, the different things you can do, you know, turn on the overlay, uh, gradient, color overlay, satin finish. There's there's lots of things you can do with these, be bevel and emboss. Um, this works really well with, with different, you know, anyway, just play around with it. But on this thing here, I just wanted to add a stroke. You can, again, I'm going to put this up to 100%. Uh, oops, <laughs> I made this mistake. I'm messing with the, the drop shadow layer. So I'm going to put that back down to 75 percent and I'm gonna click on the stroke layer okay now we go I was wondering where the pixel size you know I can really crank that up or I can drop it down okay so if that's I put that here I can have this on the outside I can move that to the inside it's actually too thick so you really can't see that it's coming in on the inside and I can put it on the center but I'm not exactly sure what oh center of the line where it's all on the outside edge and the outside expands outward, inside expand inward, and center expands outward and inward. I hope that makes you can see how it's going inside, but it's also if I continue, you can see it's still going outside. So anyway, I'm just gonna add like a you know type three, hit three on a well. Let's make that red just to do something different. Make it red, hit OK, and that's that. 